What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Mr. T-Money, 1993. And I just watched the uh, episode 5 of All or Nothing. Um, had the Ravens game first. Uh, coming off the Eagles game, Cam starts dealing with his shoulder um, soreness. Uh, but he still plays great against um, the Ravens. Plays great against the Bucks, um, and then it has the downfall game, the Pittsburgh game. Uh, the show in this episode set up Dante Jackson to look, you know, sort of like a head, sort of like a a, 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 a headache, sort of like um hard headed. Like he don't want to take the advice of the older guys, which Dante, I seen him making tweets. Um, so that's kind of what they did and made him show like he wasn't prepared for AB, um, which he gave AB that big catch, which AB was kind of pushing off, like Dante said. And he held AB in the second half to only one catch. So he uh, he stayed focused. But that TJ Watt hit on Cam's shoulder, man. I don't know if they just made it to look like that or if that's really how it, it went down. But it definitely looked like TJ Watt hit Cam in the shoulder with his helmet on purpose. Um, now, I mean, at this point, everybody knew Cam was on the injury report. So, I don't want to make it seem like TJ Watt is a dirty player. But that sort of looked like a dirty hit. I'm not even going to lie. Um, not even going to lie to you. Ed Reed got his first pick in the Bucks game. Um, and Ron, to me, I found it interesting that he said, uh, it seems like the players in, in Tampa play harder for Warren Fitzpatrick, <laughs> which is funny considering Fitzpatrick is now in Miami. So I guess we'll see how that goes next year. Uh, but this is your boy, Mr. T-Man 1993 with my episode five of the show, All for Nothing Review. I'm out.